Welcome to Snail Trail 4x4. Today we're going to be installing the Dash Multi Mount, the DMM. This is from Taco Garage. What I really like about this mount is how sleek, how smooth, and how stealthy it is. If you remove all the mounting equipment off of this, you pretty much can't even notice that you have a mounting system up there. I'm going to be mounting a ham radio on here, but a lot of people are going to be also putting on their cell phone mounts or tablets for traveling around. Um, I might do all that in the future, we will see. But let me show you how to install this. The kit comes with all this here. This is the top piece. These are the parts that are gonna go underneath your dash. Um, it comes with all the hardware required and some actually it came with some additional hardware. These guys are to help you do some alignments and all these little guys here have these crazy teeth. You're not gonna be able to see it in this video, but they got all these little teeth around the um, top section of this. So they dig down and dig into this top bar and help hold it into position. So here's the top of the mount and where this goes is right up here, right on the top. And as you can see, you don't even notice it. It is completely out of sight. I have to even lift my head almost up and hit my roof just to even start seeing the holes on there. So I'm super excited about that. So to put this on though, the first step, what we need to do is we actually need to remove this silver piece, which is the scariest part of this whole install. And what you do is you're just gonna start over here on the passenger side and we're gonna pull this silver spot off. It is clips all around it and it's just clipped in. So you just need to be gentle, but actually kind of give it a little bit of force. And there it goes. So it's just tabbed in and we're just gonna pull it out. There we go. Now let's go outside. We got some drilling to do. So here you can see this is where the top piece just slides right over the top. Uh, the larger gaps are where these tabs are gonna be. Um, so our next step here is we're gonna drill through all of these holes. And to do that, I'm gonna use some just little tiny clamps and clamp them into place so it just stays in one location while I do the drilling. All right, so what I've done here is I've put these little clamps all along this rim or the rail here. Um, not covering any of the holes, so I can just simply drill all the way through every single one of those holes. Uh, Taco Garage suggests you use a number 10 drill bit, which I'm gonna do, but that's also really close to a, I think it's a 3 16 Don't quote me on that. Just try to get a 10 if you have a 10. Uh, don't need to push very hard, it's just very thin plastic. It'll do um, its own job and spin itself through. I'm just looking here at the bottom side now to see if there's anything poking through, which a few of these do have some little uh, some little plastic things that poke up, poke up and stick, stick up. Uh, you wanna clean all that off because when you add these plates here to the bottom, uh, you're gonna get a little bit of uh, unevenness and you don't want that. At this time, we can also take off the plate. So with the top part on and lining up all the holes, there's these little keyed sections here and here. So I'm gonna line those up and make and put it on this direction, just like so. He also provides you with these longer bolts and those are to thread through the plastic section and into these uh, the backing plates and hold everything in place for you while you're installing this setup. So you just gotta thread them in a little ways so they're holding themselves in. And then what we're gonna do is you're gonna put in these little flat um, bolts that have that, those teeth. You're gonna stick those through, then stick the lock washer on, and then the bolt or the nut, excuse me, on there. And then you use a 3 8 uh, wrench and you tighten that up. And what's neat is like, look, my hand's not even over on where this bolt is and those teeth will hold it into place and it will not spin and you can tighten this up. All right, now we'll just do the other side. I tightened that up just a little bit. We'll put that bolt through, put the lock washer on, put the nut on. 
And then you do that for every section underneath here. So I ran into a little problem right here, but this is sort of a commonly known problem where that these bolts get really close to these tabs. So I'm gonna take that nut off and then I'm gonna use a razor blade and I'm gonna cut a little bit of that plastic away. So here you can see I just chipped a little bit of that plastic away on that clip. Uh, nothing too structural at all. That's just gonna give me a little bit more room to slide that nut over that bolt. All right, so there we are. We are all done. We got all those bolts into place. Everything's nice and smooth. And as you can see here, those little tiny um, bolts fill in this thing really, really nice. There's barely any gap shown. They suck down really tight. And now these holes here up on the top that are available are perfect size for any ram mount ball or some of those accessory style things. So now you can mount up your phone or tablets or anything along these lines. If for some reason the ram mount that you have falls apart, uh, it's really easy to put back together. You have the long bolt that is provided. Put a the silver or gold, excuse me, washer over the top. And then there's this collared style um, setup that goes with like the top uh, wider spot matching the washer. And then that all slides down over the top through the ram mount. So then what we can do is we can just put this guy in here and then it's a 532nd Allen head to thread him in. Don't be hesitant, tighten this guy up tight. You don't want it coming loose. You want them holding still, just don't strip those threads. There we go, there we go. All right, let's go snap this into place. The last and final step here is to snap this guy into place and you just do that by reinserting it the way that we took it off, sliding it back, sliding it in, making sure it's sliding all the way around your stereo and sliding inside of these vents. Mine's a little off on the bottom. There we go, there we go. There we go. As you can see, that's totally stealth right up there on the top. We got the ram mount ball right there hanging up. I actually disassembled my suction cup style one um, and I was gonna put that in on here just to check it out, see how things works. So you tighten that ram mount up, then you can just quick and easily add your phone whenever you need to. Boom, there you are, you're up and running. Now I can have it set there instead of having anything on my glass, however I want it. I can adjust this, make it a little higher right or left or move it on another position if I want. Um, that's pretty good, I might lower it down a little bit for my personal preference. Um, when I look out over the hood, the hood line is right about here. So everything above my fingers is um, cutting off my view of what's in front of me. So. I mean, if, even if I just lowered my phone down, I mean, bam, there you go. Now I can totally see over the hood, everything's fine. This is such a cool design. I really like how sleek it is. It's really, really cool. So make sure to go check out Taco Garage. Follow him. He's got a social media on Instagram. He's got his own little YouTube page and he makes some cool, cool features and cool things for these Tacomas. So go check him out. So there you have it, the Taco Garage DMM. I really love it. I love how sleek this is. I love how everything can mount up there. I'm looking forward to putting my CB radio, CB, ham radio right up there on the top. Uh, appreciate you watching. Hammer down on that subscribe button. And don't forget, keep crawling.